this probably isn't going to be a very long video, but I just wanted to hop on here and record something for you just to talk about these bunny bait cards. Last week I sold 22 of these bunny bait cards and I made, it was around $160 before taxes and that was after all expenses. And I posted it and a lot of people went crazy over it and now people are selling them and someone just shared that they made um, they sold over a thousand dollars in four days and she mentioned like her husband and her child was like helping make the bunny bait and they like turned it into a family thing and honestly that's the best compliment ever for me and that's just so cool um so i wanted to get on here and just share with you guys this opportunity to make some extra money with your cricket right now because these bunny bait cards are selling like crazy and i know 160 extra dollars might not be something huge for you but for my family that's paying for our weekly groceries at this point so i'm okay with that that's pretty awesome for just like one seasonal product um, so if you haven't made these yet, I did make a video that shows you how to make these cards. You use the print then cut feature with your machine. It's really easy to do. I know it can be intimidating, but I promise it's like the easiest craft project. I will link that video in the description just in case you need to go and look at it. So let's talk about selling the cards a little bit. I have been pricing these cards at $8 online and I've got some negative feedback for the $8 price, but this is how I got it. So at Christmas time, I went to Hobby Lobby and they had the magic reindeer food. Excuse me. So they had the magic reindeer food and it came in like a jar like this and it just had like a tag on it and they were selling theirs for nine dollars a bottle and I thought well these are personalized they can be reused year after year so it has to be at least worth you know eight dollars so that's why I did the eight dollar price point and then for in-person sales I do five dollars just because I think it's easier to sell things in increments of five, especially if you're at like a craft show or something and you have to give change. So that's why I do that. When you ship these, um, they weigh less than four ounces. So they don't weigh too much and they cost around $4 to ship. I just have these little about nine by six poly mailers or bubble mailers they do have the bubble wrap in them and I can fit two to a package so if anyone orders more than two I do have to find a bigger envelope for them but I haven't had that happen too often yet and I haven't had any of like the bottles break or anything like that Another common question that people have been asking me is how do you sell these? So I do sell on Etsy and I do have a Facebook group, which is how I get the $5 sales. And um, what I do recommend is when you're trying to sell these, don't just take a photo of like the card made up and say, hey, I have these available they're eight dollars each you need to be creative with your listing and you need to think about how like what would a listing look like that would bring you in and if you can make an emotional connection with your customer 
they're gonna buy it. Just think about how often you make a purchase based on your emotions. It's a lot. And it's you also purchase things based on packaging. So when you sell these, don't just sell the card like this. You can get these cello envelopes or yeah, these cello bags on Amazon, very cheap. I think these are like three cents a bag is what it worked out to be. And it makes it just look very professional. Some people are using the bags and they're adding a bow on top or you can do like your business sticker on it or a thank you sticker. So that's an, another way just to be different. So what kind of photos can you take for these? If you have kids, you can do a photo of them basically doing what I'm doing here. They can mix the oats and the sprinkles. They can fill the bottles and you don't have to take a photo showing their face. I, When I post anything with my kids, you do not see their face. You see their hands. So you don't have to do anything like that. And that kind of makes it fun. And you can just be like, oh, my kids are loving helping me put these together. They're so excited that the bunny is going to find this bait and they're going to come Easter morning. Something cute like that. You could have your kids go outside and um, take one of these and like throw them in the air and get a photo or um, just different things. And you can post more than one time that way. So grab some different shots of different parts of the process. People like to see those things as well and not just like a photo of like the finished product. They want to know how you made it or so like give them some insight and give them some behind the scenes shots. That's a lot of I'll dump that out and make new bait. So while we're here, I'll just show you. I do oats and then these sprinkles and these come from Dollar Tree. This sprinkle mix was called Frozen Magic, but I'm out of this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and just use this over the rainbow one because it's still pretty cute. Let's open that. Oh, these ones are really cute. They have little rainbows. That's cute. So I think I shared everything that I wanted to about these. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the description. I'm sorry, down in the comments. And I will do my best to help you. If you are already selling these cards and you're having success, I would be very interested in knowing how you're doing. Um, I love hearing success stories. It's honestly the best compliment. It makes me feel good. So please share away. And then besides these bunny bait cards, if you have success and you want to do more, we did the reindeer magic reindeer food at Christmas and those were a hit as well there are um there's like a leprechaun bait one let me see if I can find it so this is what I did and I did lucky charms but you could do oats with like green sprinkles in it and then now there's a new one now I have not I have not sold this one yet. The file is out, but I have not sold like the physical card yet to get feedback on. But I'm hoping it does just as good as the bunny bait. This is just like where you plant the jelly beans and then the like dum dum suckers grow in place overnight for Easter. So that's gonna be really fun. But yeah, anyways. Please let me know if you have any questions. 
and I would love to help you out. I would love for you all to get in on this little craze that's happening and make some extra money with your Cricut. Thank you for watching. I hope this inspired you. Bye.